On Saturday, August 26th, Occupy had its ninth Occupy Town Square. These events are like miniature occupations in which the movement gathers at a public park for a day of community outreach. Every Occupy Town Square takes place in a different neighborhood, and this past Saturday's was in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. The seven-hour event included workshops and teach-ins on subjects such as immigrant rights, anarchism, copwatch, and the Young Lords Party. There were kids' events and music and theater performances by groups such as Theater for the New City. We stopped to talk with members of this street theater troupe about their work. This play has to do with Chino Garcia, who was one of the founders of a cultural center on the Lower East Side called Chavez, that got sold by Mayor Giuliani. The guy who bought it was never able to develop it, and because the neighborhood would not, not allow it. And so we are fighting to this day to bring this building back to the people. There were well over 500 people here, so we're very pleased with that. We do get big audiences. Uh, we have a little stage. It's only um, 24 by 16. Um, and we have a large company, it's a 50-person company, and we have a, a live band of five musicians, and their voices are beautiful. We have a combination of professional actor, singer, dancers with amateur singer, dancer, actors. And we have plenty of room for new people every year, but some people have been with me for 15 or 20 years. We're proud of our connection to Occupy, and the last song says that we stand with them, and that this fight is not over. And of course it's not over, it's just begun. I was glad I went, and yeah. I'm, I always appreciate Occupy Town Square. Besides the fact that it's a lot of fun, I think it's actually one of the most important things Occupy does, mm -hmm. because our biggest problem is most people just don't know where to find us. Yeah. And I've always felt it's a big problem that Occupy was so centered in the financial district of, of Manhattan when it really needs to spread everywhere. So for Occupy to actually come to our neighborhoods, come to our parks, and engage with the local communities is the, just the best thing we can be doing. Absolutely, and we've found so many new vibrant communities that way. People have just been really m much more involved at the local level in some areas. And Sunset Park is a great example of that because of the rent strike and Occupy Sunset Park has been so strong there. I really like the multilingual uh, reach, outreach that we did there with the multilingual flyers, the bilingual uh, mic checks and general yeah, assemblies. I saw some beautiful multilingual banners and you know it seemed like there was lots of children and just a lot of diversity of age groups and different communities coming together. People were into that Young Lords workshop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well stay tuned for the next one of those. <laughs>